Hi, I'm Cindy Blanca. Welcome to my channel. If you like this video at the end, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and send it to someone who can use it. And today we'll be talking about love. Well, actually, we'll be doing a very special video because I'm going to react to my own video that I made on my other channel, and that was a few years ago. So I made this thing, I made this uh, video. It's called how to get over someone who's just a messenger i'm not 100 percent sure if i said it right but uh the message was about me how i'm trying to get over someone that i'm i just figured out it's just a messenger it's not someone that that is maybe at that moment i thought oh this is the love of my life i don't know i don't know where i was at but uh i'm just gonna watch that video and i'm gonna react react to it how i feel right now and if i still think the same way so this is gonna be very interesting i'm gonna watch the video so watch it with me i will show you the footage you'll see my hair is still at a, a another length and um yeah and to see if i have grown personally from making these videos so let's go look at this video Hi guys, this is Cindy from creativecindycookie.com um, and I just realized something about love. Now, I've been having these strong feelings for a guy for a couple of years right now. And um, they come and go, they come and go, but somewhere they always stayed. Up until a point that I thought, like, this guy is the one. He's the one for me because why else would these feelings come and go? And... Um, something that i tried to deny i denied at first and uh, i'm <coughs> sorry whenever i did that um you know i felt like this i would describe it as a storm inside when you try to deny yourself from the truth uh there will always be signs like you're lying to yourself so that's what i did but when i finally you know admitted to myself like this is real what i'm feeling for this guy he's the one blah, whatever um i felt i felt peaceful you know so anyways and this is not a romance story we didn't got to, together whatever but um like for years i was like why first of all why doesn't this person feel the same way about you because whatever you feel is so strong it must be because that other person is feeling the same way and um how do i get rid of it <laughs> one of those questions has always been uh um and you know and it wasn't logic to me because I'm an intelligent woman and you know as an intelligent woman what kind of man you or person you want in your life what kind of relationship you want to have and if that person doesn't treat you anyway anywhere near what you have in mind what you have as a vision in a relationship <coughs> it doesn't make any sense to a sane person uh, someone with common sense to say I love this person but we all know love is not always common sense it just is you know you love your children your family no matter what not always but usually and um and that can also happen with a, a you know a partner or someone you you like but and the funny thing is like all this time i've been the last time that i talked to this guy he did something anyway that i just felt like i'm done because you you know the way you treat me i don't know i treat other people um i'm not having that so i cannot be in a relationship with someone as a friend even as a friend because we were never in a relationship even as a friend i cannot be in a relationship with someone who doesn't treat me right as a person so i cut off all all contact and said you know whenever you see me across the street pretend like you don't know me and that's hard for me to say but it really felt at that moment like he did something uh, that made me feel like you know you don't care if I'm whether I'm dead or alive so let's let's not fake it when when we see each other let not let's not play puppet shows and that is because of your hurt you know not not the hurt because that the person doesn't feel the same but more of the hurt that um, the way that people treat you so accepted that you know uh, you love someone regardless regardless of their flaws but i still didn't understand i still don't want to understand one didn't want to understand but then today i realized like why can i let go why can i why do i have this feeling and i and then i started and then i listened to this guy oh my god i forgot his name he was like this very wise man from india uh, talking about your true self and you know when resistance come 
you should let it come because the truth will come out and and you know you shouldn't fight that and i was like okay okay but what about that truth that i haven't been able to you know that i don't even like i don't want it to be true i don't you know why why do i have these feelings for this this person who is not worth it because common sense would make me fall for this or this or this type of guy and then i started to realize today that this anger that i have was not so much him not being into me or not feeling the same or not treating me it was because i couldn't let go and couldn't understand but now i do because i feel like we all have messengers in our lives now listen close to this one this is my maybe someone has already found out but this is just my truth that came out for myself i think we all have messengers in our lives and you can be in a very long term relationship like i've been for 17 years and not learn a lot you can be in a very short relationship and learn a lot so i think we all have messengers in our lives that guides us to where we need to go to guides us to where we need to be and uh, not that i've had many relationships or many men but i feel like each man or each person even not even just men just people in general is there to guide you towards where you need to be so uh, the strong thing about this guy these strong feelings for me an eye-opener was i didn't know that i was capable of feeling this way that i was capable of uh, being for me kind of brave telling someone how i feel um, regardless whether you know someone would feel the same um or or you know having the the certainty that that yeah that a person would feel the same or or you know and you'd be, you're always afraid of being rejected and i wasn't afraid i was just uh courageous i was very like okay if you really want this then you have to go for it and i did and yes i didn't win so i thought but now i feel like i'm being prepared for that you know, for that guy who's at the same level, because I might have connected with him on certain levels, but not on every, every level. And I think one of, I think most humans are looking for a spiritual, emotionally, uh, mentally, uh, physically connection to someone, you know? And if you can hit off some of them, you know, most people only hit like one or two, but if you can, tab all of them off i'm not saying that things are going to be perfect but it's going to be like flawless like you can it should be easier but and i think those that's why he came as a lesson as to see like this is what you're capable of if you can love someone so much who is not right for you how are you going to love someone who is Woo, nice i like this one i always knew it in the back of my head but i i started to Maybe I've done it before, but I was really grateful. After realized I was like not angry anymore, no matter what kind of behavior he has, it's it's okay because you were just my messenger. You was just my eye opener. You were making sure my eyes are open, my heart is open, my spirit is open, and I've learned a lot from you, and my journey will continue. And um it's a long video <laughs> i'm not even sure if i'm gonna drop it on youtube but it's and it's really kind of personal but who cares anyone who can anyone who's going through this right now going to a breakup or not knowing how to get over someone we sometimes make things make things bigger in our head than they really are you know um i'm not saying what you're feeling is not real i'm just saying is all i'm saying is if you put it in perspective you're gonna live till a hundred. Let's say you live till a hundred. This person is gonna be such a small page in your life unless you let it. Unless you're gonna stop living, you're gonna stop looking, unless you're gonna stop keeping your eyes open. And I feel like, okay, I can love him again. Not be angry for myself for loving him, but love him for what he has given me. Instead of being angry for feeling this way about, and even if someone has treated you really bad, you can just love that person for showing you what you don't want showing you what is definitely not something that you want in your life and helping you redefine and focus what you do want so 
um, yeah, if you can flip everything like that, especially this, I'm, 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 no, I'm not thinking about contacting that guy again, that, that's, that's absolutely not uh, the idea, but, and, um, but I do am grateful for, for the men in, that I've met, and even though it didn't work out, like, what was the message? What was your message as a messenger? What do I have to take for my Mr. Right, for my one, for the one that I'm going to be, you know, connected in a way that I've never been with on all of those levels, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, phys physically. So, um, that said, it's just, it's just a messenger in your life. So don't worry. And I I'm sure that when you start really defining what you really want, write it down, think of it. How do you want this person to make you feel? How do you want? And most people are so focused on how someone looks. I want him to be tall. I want him to be dark. I want her to. It's so superficial. You can have the most beautiful blonde woman or black guy, but when he has no substance, what you going to do with it for the rest of your life? No offense. I rather focus on things that I know, no matter what someone, how someone looks. And if that wears off or you become older and grayer, whatever, it's whatever those qualities someone has is going to keep me attracted. Like, um, I want someone to be, uh, interesting to be, um, to be, uh, uh, how do you say that? To be intelligent, to be open, to be creative, to be, um, in, how do you say that? There's so many things you can come up with. I want someone to be spiritual. I want someone to have an open mindset and to, you know, someone I can laugh with, you know, that, that likes to, you know, you can call up all these kind of things. I want someone that I feel phys physically, sexually attracted to. I want someone that I connect with on every level. Those things are so much easier to describe than someone looks, someone's looks, because it says absolutely nothing about someone's uh, inside because I've heard enough and many people say oh this guy looks exactly like the man of my dreams and I'm like why are you so focused of the man of your dreams on the outside because that can change and if that person on the inside is messed up you know you can there's no use we all know that but we still focus on what do you want I want a guy with a good career who has a lot of money who blah, blah, blah. I'm like what happens if you find that guy and he's greedy he's not sharing anything what if you find this most beautiful girl, but she's dumb as, you know, what if you find uh, a guy who, who, who buys you everything, but he beats you up every day. I'm just, I'm just, you know, it, it makes, it makes sense, but people don't think about those things. And, um, right now it's not my priority, but when it will be, or when I get to that stage, I will divine what I want redefine and write it down or think of it and see everything else come as a lesson and that that's why i think whenever you have a lot of shady people in your life or meet a lot of strange men or men who just like have a friend men just seem to want one thing i'm like you have to find out why you're attracting those type of men why are you maybe you're uncertain about something or maybe you are being tested you know, like you say, I want a relationship, but you keep attracting guys who are single. I'm like, you have to find out within the first date, is this guy looking for a relationship on a, on a, uh, a long-term relate, or is he just looking to have fun? There's nothing wrong asking those kind of things. I don't think it's right to find out after the third or the fourth date, or after you just slept with each other, like he's just in for the fun. That makes no sense. If the guy's scared, if you're asking him that, that kind of says it all. But a guy who's in, you know, who's ready for a relationship, he'll let you know. You know, I want a real relationship, and uh, let's get to know each other. It's not that hard. You know, people are a girl, and if you're scared that a guy will run off, let him run. Keep on running. Let me help you run. Let me give you some running shoes. <laughs> but uh, I don't know where I got this, where I get got to this point. But just here, and every my every messenger I've ever met. Thank you. I cannot wait to use it with the right person. Cannot wait to have fun and grow and, you know, do the most, share the most amazing things in life with that person. 
and not be like a lot of people just settle for something you know just to have someone around so my friend and I always say we're overqualified we are <laughs> and I'm sure you who is watching is also overqualified do not sell yourself short do not worry about whoever you still love or feel accept that um, be, be, be glad that you're capable of loving someone no matter what they did and you know with the right person who does deserve all of that love you will be able to have so much more to give and, and, and not be afraid like so many people that just give up don't give up you just are going to get better at this I truly believe this again I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this video maybe no one's ever gonna watch it but I was just I just came up with that I just wanted to share that and uh, I feel free and I'm gonna work on my business again work on my website and I hope to see you guys soon I wish you all the best and all the love. Okay? Thank you. Hi, I'm back. Well, I watched my own video and it was kind of confrontational seeing myself. You know, my hair was a lot shorter and uh, it was a little bit dark. I, I don't think I was in a dark space, but the room was just quite dark. And um, yeah, what would I... I know I was probably trying to get over someone. I, I think I know who I was go, trying to get over. This guy that I had been seeing on and off and it just had it didn't go anywhere and i was constantly like thinking like why am i not getting over this guy because i know it's not right for, it's not good for me but somehow i just keep stuck i keep stuck in in this being stuck in the same place so um in this video i kind of you know i had an epiphany i believe at that moment about okay this guy is here to teach me something and um you know, I knew, I know, I've always had like a strong belief, even though I might have been in love with someone that wasn't right for me, that there will be something better, that, that the good is always going to come. Like, I don't know, I don't, I just have this, this positive, optimistic side of me that is just undeniable. So even if something, I will always say, well, this is going to be worth it someday. Someday you're going to, you know, I'm, I'm probably being prepared or I need to learn something and, um, so I know I was 100% thinking that way uh, at that moment, but still not knowing how to deal with, you know, getting over someone who isn't right for you or doesn't want to be with you, um, you know, all, all of these things. So um very happy that I didn't lose my sense of common sense. That's what you call it. Common sense. And that I still had, you know, was still optimistic, even though I was probably hurting also at that moment and, you know, being a little bit confused. Like, and I have this conversation with, with one of my girls. She's like, how can I still feel something for this guy that is actually, that is actually bad for me, who didn't treat me right. But I said, listen, you know, you can't always, um, you can't always control how you feel. That's, that's how you're going to feel. It's what you do with what you feel, you know, if you're going to act with it, are you going to call that person that you know is bad for you? And that's where the challenge, the challenge is. And one day when you're going to stop acting on how you feel, you might not even start feeling the same way because all of these temptations that you might have, you will, you know, eventually just, they will wear out because, you know, it's not bringing you anything. But if you keep it as an addictive habit to constantly contact that person that you know is bad for you, you're going to stay hooked up on that person for a very long time, which I have been. So, um, and I'm, I always say, I'm very honest, it's, it's okay if you still have feelings for that person because that person obviously was a part of your growth, whether it's good or bad, but it's what do you do with it? And I'm glad I didn't stay stuck in that, in that um, feeling for that guy. I, I always acknowledge, okay, you were part of my past, you were part of my journey, part of my lessons and my blessings. And that's okay, you know, and I'm, I'm glad that I held on because I'm with the most wonderful person in the world. But it took me a long time because this video is like five years ago and it took me a long time to get there. But I can tell you what actually made a difference without, without going into what to expect of the future. There are no guarantees. The only thing is that I know I'm in the best relationship ever with my best friend who I can laugh with, who I can, who I'm passionate with. We, we share the same goals, same dream, same humor. We like the same music. We're still different in a lot of ways, but we have so many, we're so connective. We think the same, some to feel the same. It's sometimes it's not scary anymore. Now I'm used to it, but in the beginning I was like, okay, you exact 
think exactly what I'm saying? Or how do you have that song in your mind? A very unusual song and you singing it, you know, but now we're used to it because we know, okay, we're connected and we're connected on a deeper level. So uh, now it's okay, but that's something I've always dreamt about. And I was like, I know it exists. I know I don't, I don't, I always knew it exists, even though I'd never experienced it. And I just kept the faith. I just stayed optimistic, say, hey, all of this drama, all this headache must be worth it for something. And I'm glad I held on to that. I get, I'm glad I didn't hold on to loving someone who was just a messenger. And the messenger was, he was there to teach me something, whether it's to love harder, whether it's to love despite how someone's treating you because you can love someone despite how someone's treating you it doesn't mean that you have to be with him because if someone treats you as a jerk then you can say hey i love you but i don't want to be with someone that treats me like crap who would who would want that because that for me is not rational and that's one thing about me i can love you and but i'm always going to be rational saying okay i love you but you treat me like this i, I can't have that my as we in Suriname would say my yeah yeah me yeah yeah my my soul won't let it i just i can't i can't do that that's that's against everything i stand for and believe in so funny to see that holding on to my goals and dreams and my fantasy guy has worked out for me i think one of the biggest things that really helped me le uh, that led us to each other because we both had the same epiphany at the same time because we both were had just uh, ended up dating with someone or 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 yeah the whole dating scene let's just put it with that and we both were at the point like listen just send me the right person for me and if that's not in the in the cards then don't send me anything at all I'm, I'm fine by myself i was really at the point where i was like if it's just gonna be me myself and i i like myself i have a lot of fun with myself i mean get me crazy with myself you know and that's okay so if it's me i'm gonna make sure that my life is gonna be fulfilled no matter what guy or no guy and I'm just not gonna wait anymore. So if he's there, you send me the right one or don't send me anything at all. I'm done with the lessons. Cause I was at the point where I was like, okay, don't send me any more messengers. Don't send me any more guys that need to teach me something cause that's bull. I was also at that point saying, hey, it's bull. I, I think I've learned my lesson. Let me grow with the person that I'm meant to be with and learn from that. But I don't need this BS because I've done my homework. I've worked on myself. so. I'm done. <laughs> I was at that point. So when we met, we were both not ready. We were not ready. We were not seeking. We had let it all go. But within a week, it was it was solid as solid as a rock. Boom, boom. And now, okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting carried away. But that's that's just what I wanted to tell you guys. That was my reaction to my own video. This is a very long video. If you combine the two of them, it's a long, long video. But that's how love. You just don't give up don't give up know there is someone out there for you that's gonna make all that bs worth it and you're gonna have to start with you first loving you putting yourself in the first place and knowing that you're enough if no one else is going to come in your center in your circle that's enough and that's it might sound easy for me to say but believe me i was at that point last year saying i'm i'm done with the bs i'd rather be by myself than doing all of this so Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Hit that, hit that freaking subscribe button, people. Now, hit it if you like it. And share it with someone who can use it. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.